What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on Sean Malone of the U.S. National Team Development Program. Uh, he's eligible for the 2013 NHL entry draft. He's ranked 98th among North American skaters by the uh, NHL Center Scouting uh, list. You know, not a huge kid at 5'11", 180 pounds, but I think he'll put an inch or two on, end up being 6'1", and 190, 195 pounds, you know, prototypical pro size. He's a, he's a lefty shooting center, so, you know, big body down the middle, I think, is what he'll project to be. I think he, he's definitely, he'll put on a few pounds of muscle, and I think he'll definitely gain an inch or two. He looks bigger than 5'11", out there. I mean, I don't know, my eyes might be going, though. Um, from West Seneca, New York, up by Buffalo, and I think the upstate New York region has been producing some great hockey players over the last couple of years. Uh, you look at Pat Kane, you look at Adam Clendenning and the Blackhawks organization, uh, Boone Nieves, New York Rangers prospect, just another kid from East from the Syracuse area, which I know they're not near each other, but same uh, geographical region, upstate New York. Uh, but, you know, played at Nichols School last year, had 35 points in 15 games, and then um, this year he's listed as having six points through six games with development team, so I think it's a little bit off. Kind of hard to find all the statistics for you know, all different leagues they play in and stuff. Uh, but, you know, he's a good offensive player. Uh, played in the All-American Prospects game and looked very well up there in his, his home region. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to be a very productive pro on the line. He's committed to go to Hobbit in 2014. I think that'll change next year. I'm 99% sure. The 18 in April. So, you know, he's still got some growing to do. I think he's going to, I think, with a good combine performance. And the development team kids have traditionally tested very well at the combine. Um, I think he'll he'll move up a few slots. He played in the Ivan Holenka tournament last summer. Had an assist over there. Um, you know, he's really shown he, he can play at an elite level. I think the adjustment going from prep school to playing for the development team is huge. But, you know, he's got the right motor and the right um, approach to that to uh, to really take the next step in college hockey and eventually the pros. And I, I think he's going to grow. I think he's definitely due for growth spurt. And I think that'll definitely help him in terms of moving guys around to the middle, you know, being able to knock other centers off the puck. Because, I mean, yeah, you look at you need centers over six feet if you want to win the cup. You need at least one. And uh, you look at Anze Kobe Tar last year, you look at even Patrice Berger on 6'2", 6'3", off the Bruins, uh, you know, Taves, guys like that. So having a big center, like I said, he's losing a 5'11", he's a little bit bigger than that. I think he'll project to be 6'1", 6'2". I think he's, too, like I said, due for growth spurt. I keep reiterating that. Uh, but I think he's going to be a hell of a player down the line, someone that can be a very big steal in the fifth or sixth, or the fourth or fifth or sixth round, depending upon how the final rankings shake up. But uh, that's like this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Sean Malone of the U.S. National Team Development Program. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.